hi guys welcome back to mama soj vlog how are you guys doing if you are new here you are welcome and if you are returning subscriber god bless you as you always come back to watch my video my people know be smart you know one that shall never end my people and i know saying a different news now they land for my table and as they land for my table that's why they carry and call you to come share out with honor all right my people for today video go to wash out together with honor all right my people moku go watch the video to see what really the apple for inside the video my people we are not going to vote for any igbo governor in lagos state lagos is the land of the yorubas it's just like Somebody like me saying, I want to go to Anabra, to Eboni, to Aqua Ibon, to Cross River, to Rivers, to Imo State, to Abia, to Enugu, to say I want to go there to contest as a governor. Do you think Igbo people are going to vote for me as a Yoruba man? No. The candidate of the Labour Party, his name is Shinedu. He tried to change his name to Badebo. He is an Igbo man. His wife is Igbo as well. Okay? So, we're not going to go to details of him, of that guy now. We're not going to go to his details. But we're talking about Lagos does not belong to Bini people. Before the title Oba came to Bini Kingdom, the land of Bini was called Igodomigodo okay and the first traditional ruler in the kingdom of igodomigodo which is they call ibini means ileibinu okay ileibinu that's the reason why they call it ibini ileibinu the land of the angry people people were angry why because there was no there was no law and order at the time when the last ogiso in the land of Benin in those days, the traditional rulers, they were called Ogisos. Okay? The first Ogiso of the Edo Kingdom, the land of Igodomigodo, was called Ogiso Igodo. And that is the reason why he called his people Igodomigodo people. And he called his land the land of Igodomigodo. <laughs> anyway guys let me swim a little bit before we continue because it's getting late and um i need to go in today i need to go into the water wow it's getting cold man <clears throat> aha wow mm. i never knew it's deep oh it's a bit deep wow anyway so guys just like uh because it's a bit uh, dark here so i wanted to swim but i'm not sure if i'm gonna really swim let me speak to you a little bit before i mean all right so let's let's talk about um let's talk about history I don't know where you're watching from, but I want you to share this. Please share this video with all the Benin people that are shouting on social media. Let us explain to them because they don't understand history. Okay? Now, don't blame the Benin people. The reason why the Benin people are shouting that they own Lagos was because they people of um lagos they are worried people okay the problem we get for nigeria we no love one another exactly can you imagine even right now we the yorubas we voted massively for peter obi not because peter obi not because peter obi is an Igbo man we voted for Peter Obi. You know why? Why Yoruba people voted for Peter Obi? I was not there to vote anyway. If I was there, probably I would have voted for him. And the reason being is, Ashwadu Ahmed Tinubu abandoned our people during the answers. When they 
this uh, Hausa Fulani, when they started killing people, Ashua do does not do much. That does not mean that Ashua Jew is not strategic. Okay? And that does not mean that he cannot lead the country Nigeria. People were looking for change and they were thinking maybe Obi will bring that change because the APC government, they were causing problems for the people. But now we realize that the Igbo people, many of them are not good. They are acting fake. And that is the reason why we will not vote for any Igbo man as governor of Lagos State because we are not stupid. If you check my page, you will see somebody call herself in Keshi of Lagos. In a tweet on Twitter, she said, Igbo people own Lagos. Is that not madness? Is that not weary? What in here weary? Dear, dear. Because I personally will not go to Anabra to say I own Anabra. No Yoruba man will go to Onisha to say they are the owner of Onisha. In the Igbo land, you will have Eze. You have Igwe. You have Obi. These are your rulers. In our land, we have Obas. And even in the land of the Benin, which is the Edo land, their traditional rulers were never called Oba. Okay? In our own land, Ifa is the origin of our land. That's our spirituality. Ifa. Okay? Orumila was the prophet, the messenger who brought Ifa. And inside Ifa is where Olodumare was revealed. This is the reason why the so-called Christian and Muslim, don't, many of them don't understand history because the so-called prophets in Nigeria, they are all fake. Many of them, they prophesy that there will not be election. I listen to so many fake prophecy. Okay? And... I know Igbo people are very tribalistic. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, we Yorubas, we are not tribalistic. We just value people, we welcome people to our land. But we will not tolerate any attack. We won't tolerate any arrogance. We won't tolerate any sort of abuse from any Igbo person. To say they come to Lagos, and they are now saying they are the owner of Lagos. That is stupidity. If you are an Igbo person and you say you own Lagos, you are very stupid. I personally will not go to Anambra, to Eboni, to Enugu. Many Igbo people who come to Lagos, okay, you are allowed to even run as chairman. You are allowed to run as councillor. <clears throat> How many Yoruba people can go to Anambra to go and run as councillor? How many Yoruba people can go to Enugu? <coughs> Excuse me, go to Eboni. Go to rivers. Not even rivers are still the people that are mixed Igbo anyway and cross river. Can I go to Imo and say I want to go and run for governor? So, we Yorubas, we are very welcoming. We are not traitors. We don't betray people. In fact, to say the fact, I don't want to go back to history. During the time of Awolowo, the Igbo people, they, they betray us because Awolowo called Azikwe and say let us come together and do this government because the british they are supporting the house of fulani as if we prefer the house over the yorubas how many times have you seen yoruba and Igbo people coming together to say they want to go and do election okay so if obi came out obi came out with humility but the characteristics that obi is displaying now is becoming arrogant are you getting what i'm saying people love obi but if Obi is not careful, he's going to lose everything. Okay? So, what I'm saying, in essence, is that we need to calm down. We need to really, really calm down. Obi did not even win my state. I'm from Ekiti State. Obi did not win Ekiti State. Well, Obi can never win Ekiti State. Let me tell you. The governor of Ekiti State came from my hometown. He called Gosi Warm Spring, where you have the warm and the cold spring. Are you listening to me? His name is Oyebanji. Abiodun Oyebanji is our uncle. He belongs to the APC. The people of Ekiti, they love him. They like him. Why? Because he is paying their salary and he's doing well for the people of Ekiti. Let's forget about political parties now. We know that APC, they are not doing well in the national uh, 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 level. But in Ekiti State, 
our own son from Ikogosi is doing well in Ekiti State. That's the reason why the people of Ekiti voted for him. Obi can never win Ekiti State. Obi can never win Ondo State. Obi can never win Oshun. Obi can never win Ogun. Obi cannot win Oyo. And the reason why Obi won in Lagos was because the young people in Lagos, especially people like Fals, Macaroni, these are Yoruba people, Yoruba young people. And so many other people that encourage other Yoruba young, young people. Because Lagos is the land where you have the most young people in this country, where people want to also. You have different nationalities, different tribes in Lagos. You have Igbo, Ausa, Fulani, Ibira, Ibiobio, Delta, Edo. Everybody is living in Lagos. So the people were not happy how the government were doing the whole thing. And the youth, they were fired up. And that's the reason why the leader of Afeni Ferry, our uncle, Ayo Adebanjo, he supported Peter Obi over Tinobu. For you people that talk to Yoruba anyhow, please use your brain before you talk to any Yoruba anyhow. We are the most welcoming tribe in this called Nigeria. We welcome everybody. But at the end of the day, people will come back and start calling us different names. It is so sad that some people don't use their brain. I said I want to vote for Obi, not because Obi is better than my Yoruba brother. But I see Tinubu that, oh, maybe this man because of his health issue, not because of age. Donald Trump was old when he was ruling America. Joe Biden, who is the present president president of america is even older and he's still the president so it's not about age it's about the health issues and even for the past few days the way tinubu has been addressing the people his health has improved the only reason why i don't want to vote for him number one during the answers i don't like what he did it's not because you are yoruba man doesn't mean that i will go and vote for you okay I like Tinobu, I don't have a problem with him. Okay? And when people were crying for uh, all these people that are being killed by the, uh, 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 all these uh, uh, um, Boko Haram, he didn't say much as well. That got people like us that are very, very intelligent. He got us angry, not because we don't like him. And we are happy that he won the election. He won it with even much clarity. Obi did not win the election. So even if Obi goes to court, he will never win. Let me just tell you. I have a proof, which I've shared on my page, where underage people were voting for Obi. All the three candidates have problems. It's not just that, oh, it's the APC or PDP. Even in the North, young people, children were voting for, for, for Atiku. In Lagos, some Agberos, they were attacking people and saying, if you are not APC, you should not come and vote here. These people should be arrested. So many people are destroying the banks. Look at all these people that are destroying infrastructure. Do you think bank is the problem of Nigeria? Bank is not the problem of Nigeria. The government of the central bank and Buhari and all these people that refuse to release money to the bank. Now you go to bond bank too. You are destroying your, the infrastructures. Who is going to build them? These are people that own businesses. Why don't you go and talk to the governor of the central bank? Because the fault does not come from the bank. The fault came from the top. Do you get what I mean? So, if Obi is going to win, he has to change his statics. Obi is not known in my state. If Obi is going to win, you have to come to my state. You have to go to Ondo. You have to go to Oshun. You have to talk to the people. You have to end their trust. So you can't just win Lagos and be shouting up and down and say, oh, because of that, you win the election. When in my state, I know even our governor made sure that everybody in the state voted for APC with much clarity in Ondo state. I, do you think a Yoruba person will win the election in Igbo land because Igbo people will not vote for that person. 
So the reason why the Lagosian vote for Obi was because they wanted change. And I believe Obi is a good man. Obi is humble. Until now that I'm seeing that he's talking that, oh, he won the election. How can you say you win the election without proof? In all the states, 36 states of Nigeria, how many states can you win? You did not win all the north. You did not win all the south. You did not win all the west. You win mostly the east. Then you win Lagos. You win Abuja. Do you think other candidates are sleeping as well? Obi has not done enough. And I want to encourage you people, if you want change in Nigeria, you need to go and work hard. Do you know how long Tinubu has been working? I'm not saying Tinubu is the best candidate, but he has work, 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 work when it comes to the game of politics. Politics is not something you just achieve in a day. Are you getting what I'm saying? So it's not something you achieve in a day. Let's put politics aside. We are talking about Lagos now. So as I was saying, the history is very straightforward. Oromiyo was the one who came to Benin Kingdom. Okay? So, like I said, the first Ogiso, the, 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 the traditional rulers in Benin Kingdom, they were called Ogisos. They were never called Oba. Oba is not a title of Benin. It's a title of we Yorubas. So when Benin people are shouting up and down on social media, you need to come here and hear the history. Okay? Come here and hear the history. Oba is not a title of Benin Kingdom. Oba is not a title of Edo Kingdom. Okay? Oba is a title from Yoruba land. Oba, Eniti, Afiji, Oba, Balori, Ongogo. Ogiso, go and check it from record. Even go to your Google now. If you want to, if you want to, to prove me wrong, go and check from Google. Just type, who are the Ogisos? He will tell you the first Ogiso was called Ogiso Igodo. And Igodo was the one who asks his people to be called the people of Igodomigodo because the land was called Igodo. My Igodo means my abode. The land of Igodo. So we have so many Igodos until the time of the last Igodo called the Igo Ogiso. The, like, we have so many Ogisos, I mean, until the last Ogiso who was called Ogiso Owodo. Ogiso Owodo was a very weak Ogiso. He had so many wives, but in those days, the Queen Mother always ruled with the Ogiso. So that's the reason why the Queen Mother and the Oba, sometimes they have problem in Benin land in those days. Before now, the Queen Mother, they are powerless now. The law was changed, but I'm not going to go there today. Okay? So, Ogiso Owodo inherited the wives of his father. And one of them was an old woman who was seen as a queen mother or the, one of the, 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 the queens in the palace. She was barren. And during this time, Ogizo Odo was looking for a, a male child who is going to succeed him. But fortunately for him, he had a son called Ekala Deon. Ekala Deon called Izodua is not Odudua of our land. I want you to take that correction today. Ekala Deon was not Odudua. Okay? So, when a color why how, why did the color the one disappeared was because they were supposed to sacrifice a color the one to the gods he was going to be killed why because the queen mother lied against a color the one that a color the one was the reason why the king was unable to have uh, male children 
because a caladium was eaten before it was known now a caladium was banished from Benin land Benin kingdom and that was the reason why a caladium went to to uh, um a town we call Ikerekiti today. He was he was a hunter. Okay, he was a hunter, and somebody was cultivating in the forest. He traveled from the Green Kingdom into the forest, so that he will not be killed. Ekaladion did not come to Ileife. Ekaladion become a king. In Ikerekiti, in Ikiti State, my own state, I lived in Ikerekiti. His name is Ogoga of Ikerekiti. Up to today, he was a stranger who came to Ikerekiti. In Ikerekiti, we have two traditional rulers, Ogoga of Ikere and Olukere. Olukere was already a traditional ruler in Ikerekiti before Ekala Dion got there. And a Kaladion killed an elephant, and the elephant, he shot the elephant, and the elephant was going. He was following the blood until when he get to a place where he saw people. And they followed him until they found that he killed the elephant. They were scared of him, and they saw him as a powerful man. That was when they made him a traditional ruler, and from there he started relating with the people. And some of the people that was with him, that's how he became king in Ekiti State, in, 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 in Ikere Ekiti. That's the story of Ekaladion. So Ekaladion never came to Ileife. Ifa is the origin of Ileife. Okay? What we call Obatala is called Oluiwaye. And we have what we call Olofin in the land, in, in Yoruba land. Yoruba was not even called Yoruba at this time. We are called Omokaro Ujiri, meaning the people of the land that wake up to goodness. Karo, good morning. Sho Ujiri, did you wake up good? Everybody has to greet one another. Karo Ujiri, today is going to be good for you. That's how we greet one another in our land. So during this time, the forefather of my people now the video now on a new watch finish so on a see what you for inside the video all right my people make gonna let me know what you on a thing for the comment section and if you never subscribe make gonna subscribe so that i don't go miss any latest just way at the upload on a bye bye till i come on a way next time bye guys that's my next video bye guys